Hey, it's Craig back with you in the sports cabin, and I think uh, it's only right since the Super Bowl is here that we continue with that topic. I, I don't think anyone should doubt that the NFL is powerful. The league not only owns people, but it owns words. It's copyrighted words like Super Bowl, Super Sunday. And don't try to slip one by the 4,000 league lawyers who already have their Super Bowl tickets. None of that fake T-shirt stuff either. Undercover underwear cops are going to be stationed for miles around NRG in less than two weeks. In fact, I was told today there are at least four of them already in action scanning passing cars going by the building to ensure that no illegal undergarments have already been sold to unsuspecting Houstonians. And don't you church people try to get a freebie just because you have God on your side. The NFL has Goodell. Drop four letters from his last name, and what does it spell? You got it. G O. D. He won't let your church call Super Sunday, February 5th, Super Sunday. Don't try to get, uh, I'd go with something like the big sermon. I think you'll be safer. Ads on TV will avoid the two words too, not even the king of mattresses dare call it what it really is. Right, Mac? No, nah, he's, he's not going to do it. The words can only be used by news outlets not currently under fire from the new administration. Fox has the game, so those dudes, and let's face it, mostly dudettes work there, can use the term Super Bowls, Super Sunday, etc. They paid a lot to use it. It can also be used like guys like Randy in the uh, Channel 2 Sports Depot because he is using it in the context of news. That is the clear exception, in the context of news. So uh, any other name you dream up, you're on your own. You can't use profane words or terms if the words cowboys or Texans are included. I don't know about you. I know you're going to get T-shirts, sweatshirts, caps, and everything. I'm just trying not to get an official NFL cease and desist order. This is Craig Roberts on click2houston.com.